what's up guys today we've got a uh, Dell Autoplex 755 here and uh, it's giving us a screen in the BIOS that says drive zero not found and it's also saying alert failed to detect one or more drives during post and it's giving us this white underscore and today we're going to be showing you some of the things you can check to fix this problem and to get you back up and running okay so first thing we're going to check we're going to check to make sure there is no USBs plugged in. Make sure you remove them, like this one right here. Now we're going to restart the system to see if that fixed the problem. Control Alt Delete. It's loading the BIOS. Okay, it's giving us the same screen again, so we're going to have to go ahead and have a look at the next issue that might be the problem. Go ahead and make sure you have nothing in the optical drive. As you can see, we have a CD left in here. Go ahead and remove that, and then close up the optical drive. Restart the system again to see if that fixed the problem. As you can see, it's giving us the same error again, so we have to go on to our next thing that could be the problem. Okay, so we're going to turn off the PC now. Press the power button on the front. Make sure it's fully off. Then unplug the connections at the back. Then we're going to open up the PC. So first thing we're going to check is to make sure that the hard drive connections are plugged in and they didn't accidentally get unplugged. First of all we can check on the motherboard. Right here you can see the SATA connection. Looks like these are plugged in. Okay, now we're going to unhook the optical drive from the computer here. Slide it out. We're going to make sure our hard drive is properly secured. Looks like the hard drive SATA connector is a little bit loose, so we're going to go ahead and plug that back in. Next, we're going to go ahead and reseat the RAM. Pull back on these levers on the uh, ends of the RAM. Remove the RAM, and re-slide it back into the connection. Press down on one side with one thumb, and then press down on the other side to lock it in place. Now do the same with the other side. Line it up in the slot. Press down on one side to hear it click and then press down on the other side. Now go ahead and put the optical drive back in the system. Line it up with the grooves. Lock it in place. Go ahead and put the side panel back on the system. Next, plug in the peripherals back into the system. Press the power button. It can tell that we've reseated the memory, so go ahead and strike F1 to continue. And it's loading Windows. Okay guys, so as you can see, we're successfully at the desktop here. We troubleshooted the problem from A to Z. and. Uh, Hopefully this helped you out uh, with a PC problem that you might have. So thanks guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video. Also uh, check us out on Twitter and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.